Okay, here we go. Six of them. So that one has gone out. If I turn this on, it does that. And that one is starting to flash. That one is okay. <clears throat> that one is okay. But I took one out there because another one went bad. So I've got a few extra now. These are a specific connector type. That connector type is, you put it right there, a BA15 or something like that. There they are. Okay, so I'm going to take that thing off. So you kind of push that in, it pops out. Okay, so it's going to be kind of dark, but it just fits in. And it kind of twists. There we go. There we go. I'm going to take this one here. There we go. There we go. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad I have more light in here. So now this I just throw away. So this is another thing I've got to solve. I just hang my trash right there. <laughs> I have a trash can in there, but it's it just ends up being inconvenient. So I've got to figure out something where I can hang a trash because I just do it here long enough and then I just go, you know, throw it away. So I'm about to embark on a project. I have decided I want to paint these. I want to lighten up the interior. I think I might paint the bottom there too. I don't know if I'll go all the way up across, but I'm going to do it. <clears throat> at my shiny white new cabinets. I painted my kitchen and I love it. I also painted painted this. Let me turn on the light here. Painted that. It's really dark. But I'm back at my alternate Orem spot. I was at my other Orem spot and I was at my sister's place. <laughs> and uh, I uh, have just sent in today. I sent in my malfunctioning power unit and oh boy it's busy here tonight there are lots of people here there's there's an apartment building complex over there so there are lots of people here and I'm parked really in an awkward position uh, but I sent in my malfunctioning power unit today and finally got that taken care of. It was one of those things where I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and I contacted the company and they sent the shipping label and you know I've I've had it for a couple of weeks and I'm finally just now sort of taking care of it. Uh, the nice thing is there's this big open field right here and I really want to pull forward but I'm here and I got that taken care of. Okay, so I'm on my way finally to take my uh, malfunctioning power unit, the Blue Eddy, my big one. I, is it the AC200P? To get that in. I should have done it weeks and weeks and weeks ago. But I went and printed out the shipping label. Fortunately, I found that the company pays for the shipping, so I don't have to fork that out. When I bought the unit, it came quick. It was only a couple of days once I ordered it that it showed up. And it's coming, it's going to California, and then they ship a new one. So it's just around the corner. 
and I'm supposed to be able to just take it in. I don't have the box anymore. I've got the lower a piece of foam that it was shipped in because it ended up being great for uh, the unit just sit in. It's stable. You know, this is one of the nice things about smaller, medium-sized towns is that everything's kind of close. really nice lady was working with me oh super helpful they can't ship because it's a big battery they can't ship from this location but she helped me pack it up and I have to take it down to a FedEx ship center which is here in town okay I'm so glad to be Turn left onto 400 north. okay next light I've never been into this business park there's an RV over there Oh, look at that. Somebody parked in their RV. I wouldn't park in front of a big busy business like this, but I've been curious to come down here and take a look. Turn right onto 400 East, then turn right onto East 1750 North. For life, I wonder what that is. Yes, truck. I want FedEx. Okay. Turn right onto East 1750 North. Okay. Neutral cost. Oh, I see it. In 800 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Okay, now the question is... Welcome, FedEx Ground. So I found an entrance, messaged somebody on their external speaker. She said to bring it in, drive the RV over, and they would buzz me in. Okay, right here. So I'm, I, I'm going to be interested because I'm now running off my alternate power unit, my backup power unit. The uh, it's a 1,200 watt hour lithium ion battery that I have a 180 watt panel tied into that I've had for a while and it works great. So that's where my power unit, my AC200P, sat. It's kind of lonely there now, but I run a cable back to. My other power unit, which is right there, it's a cute little unit. It's super adorable. It's a 1200 watt hour, watt hour lithium ion battery with an MPPT charge controller and 1000 watt inverter. So it should be plenty to tide me over as my backup. It's tied into a 180 watt solar panel on the roof. So that's going to be my power until my other one comes back. So this is really going to be a good test about its capacity for me to run my computer and fan 
and some other things off of. And then as soon as they receive it, then they send me a replacement unit. And I'm having that shipped to my sister's place, which is just a couple miles that way. I was parked at my sister's place for a little while because I was painting the interior of my RV. And uh, I'm excited to show you this because I finally did it. I've been wanting to do it for a while. All the dark wood in the RV made it hard even with a lot of light to look light inside and so I finally did it. I did it this weekend and I love it so much. I painted the kitchen cabinets and one of the cabinets in more of the living area. Oh look at this. Ooh, ah. An RV just went by. It's this RV is kind of dark inside. In fact, my last one was a little dark inside and I painted a lot of it. But one of the things that I've decided to do was paint some of the interior. And I had painted some of the interior when I first got it, like in the bedroom. And I actually painted it a darker color because I wanted my bedroom to be dark for sleeping purposes. But the living area had all of the wood the RV manufacturers love to use. And uh, plus the dingy wallpaper. So I painted the cabinets in the kitchen area and one in the in the other in the min, in the living area this beautiful white color. So I had painted one of the walls when I first got the RV in that living area in the dinette. I had painted it white. There was a big mirror there and a clock and it was just the same dark wood as everything else and I had painted that white and that was a good move. I'm glad that I did that. So I did some research and I went to Home Depot to find out what the proper products to use and I got this deglosser, degreaser product that I ran on everything and I ended up taking off all the cabinets. Okay, so oh, that's hard to do with one hand. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, the hardware out. Okay, one is off. Put that right there. Okay, the next one is off. Ah. Okay, I got the microwave out. I never use it. I have to run an external generator or be plugged into shore power. I personally never use microwaves, so I'm going to keep it, you know, in case. I ever sell this and somebody wants it but for now I'm just gonna have to get a piece of wood and put in here because it's got these really strong struts to support its weight and gosh that was a good 30 pounds so I'm just gonna get a piece of board and then I can just use this as more storage space just loose storage space doing all the prep work that you're supposed to do okay so they said to clean so I'm going to clean these as best I can. So I'm getting, let's see this, I think this is what I need. I got to get the right primer. I don't know if that's the right primer. Oh, so many products. So I'm going to apply the deglosser now. So this is a deglosser, a sander deglosser, and it just takes off some of the old veneer and makes it so the paint will adhere to it better. Oh, this is the part that I really don't like, having to tape up, mask it all off. This is the boring part. Boring, boring. Then I painted it, and I painted it with first a primer, which is what you're obviously supposed to use. Okay, I've started to lay down the primer. Got a tarp, got my primer. I used a water-based primer and I used the Kills 2 primer and that is a really good primer. And I'm gonna tell you that I ended up getting, because I used all of that primer up. I got, I got one of the medium-sized cans. I didn't, get the, I didn't get the gallon. I got the, I think the quart size. And then I, I used that all up and I decided to paint the wall on the side of the refrigerator because there was just wallpaper there and after I saw the cabinets painted that white 
the wallpaper really bugged me. So you can see over here, you can see that wallpaper, that's the old wallpaper. And it just looks like it's from a maternity ward. And it doesn't match at all. So I'm going to paint that. I should have enough primer. And then I think I'm going to come across, I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave that the way it is. I like a little bit of the hint of the original wood. And then this cabinet, if I have enough primer left, I'm going to do this. So I ended up having to go get some more primer and I decided to, um, I just dropped by Lowe's and I, I was looking at their products and they had kills but they were a little bit more expensive there and they had another brand of Valspar and they had a Valspar primer that was like four or five bucks cheaper and so I thought okay I'm gonna cheap out and I'm gonna try it so I ended up getting that and I could definitely tell the difference the the cheap Valspar primer it was thinner, it didn't stick as well, it was not as easy to paint. I needed to put more coats on it. I had to put like three or four coats on it to get it to hide the wood. The paint that I got, I got a, the, a bare specific paint for cabinets and trim. Okay, I got the paint. I got a specific cabinet, door, and trim enamel. So this is supposed to be a pretty good paint. It's what I'm gonna use. And I'm really glad that I did that. I talked to a guy at Home Depot and he said, and I explained what I was doing, and he says, definitely use that. He says, use this cabinet trim. He says, it will just hold up better in those high use areas. And I'm so glad that I did. I could really tell that it went on nicely. And I just used a foam roller that was specifically designed for a cabinet and trim. And it just has worked out so well. Um, I, and I used, uh, I didn't use semi-gloss. It only came in semi-gloss and it came in satin. And I ended up using satin and I really hemmed and hawed about that. Do I use semi-gloss? Semi-gloss is gonna be a little bit easier to wash. But I like the more muted appearance of the satin. So that's what I went with. And I think it's gonna be fine, honestly. So then I ended up painting everything with that trim and cabinet paint. And I had just enough for all the surfaces for at least two coats on all of the surfaces and boy has it lightened up the interior so I did it as an experiment to see if I would want to do any other parts of the RV and I'm I'm tempted now as a project to come to do some of the other surfaces I left the wall against the bathroom the wood and I actually kind of like the fact that there's some contrast now I've seen pictures we've all seen pictures of uh, people who have redone the interior and they painted everything white and it just looks antiseptic and so I actually kind of like that I've got some contrast still so that is what I've what I've done and I'm excited and now I'm gonna move on to a couple of other small projects that I'm thinking about I took out the microwave the microwave was one was this dark black hole in that area right there and I never used it I would have to run uh, my generator or a generator and I never did I cook everything on the stove and I'm that I need I'm perfectly good with that um, I'm just I have never been a microwave person in my life oddly what this did was I'm now putting everything in here and this is a quick easy area to, to access and you can see I I started to paint in the background I painted this right here and I painted that which was the same ugly wallpaper as they've got back there uh, and I've got a, I'm, I'm using the cutting board which is what I put here uh, temporarily it just fit because I've got a there's just there's nothing to sit on so I'm gonna get something at Home Depot a piece of uh, wood that has laminate on top to fit inside of there but what I love about this so much having all of this stuff up here now just has freed up space I initially tried to put this also up here and I found that I actually didn't like it because I liked to be able to just quickly look in there and see things but and I love this this has freed up all kinds of space and it just looks better it feels better mm -hmm. 